Hello class, uh, welcome to my channel. So our topic in this video is about limits at infinity. So by limits at infinity, uh, we mean one of the following two limits. One is the limit as x approaches to positive infinity. Then the other one is the limit as x approaches negative infinity. So in other words, we are going to be looking at what happens to a, to a function if we let x get very large in either the positive or the negative sense. So we have two formulas for the limits at infinity. The first one is the limit of c over x raised to r as x approaches to positive infinity is equal to zero and the other one is the limit of c over x raised to r as x approaches negative infinity is equal to zero where c is a real numbers and r is a positive rational numbers okay so let's have example number one Find the limit of 5x minus 4 all over 2x plus 3 as x approaches to positive infinity. So, dito class, ang first step natin is if a factor out natin yung variable na may highest exponent sa denominator. Which, in this case, we have x. Okay? So, ang step 1 natin, factor out muna natin yung x doon sa denominator. So, we have x. So, since nag-factor out tayo ng x, ang gagawin natin sa binomial is i-divide natin both by x. Okay? Then, kung ano yung finactor out nyo kay denominator, yun din yung gagawin natin sa numerator. So, factoring x, we have 5x over x plus minus 4 over x. Okay? Next is simplifying the fraction. So, may meron tayong mga makakancel dito. Unang-una is yung x dito sa may labas, makakancel. Pangalawa, yung x dito sa may loob. At saka dito kay 2x over x. Okay? So, the outcome ng ating fraction is magiging 5 minus 4 over x all over 2 plus 3 over x. Okay? So, next step natin is i-distribute na natin yung ating limits. Ang limits natin is as x approaches positive infinity. So, in so i-distribute natin yan sa lahat ng terms sa numerator and the denominator. So, we have the limit of 5 as x approaches positive infinity minus the limit of 4 over x as x approaches positive infinity all over the limit of 2 as x approaches positive infinity plus the limit of 3 over x as x approaches positive infinity. Okay, so applying the rules of limits, so alam naman natin, the limit of 5 as x approaches positive infinity, so dito ang i-apply natin is, is yung the limit of a constant. So pag kinuha natin yung limits ng constant, ang limits niya is yung constant mismo. Okay, minus the limit of 4 over x as x approaches positive infinity. Ito yung kanina. So, kung ang x natin is nasa denominator, then, yung x natin is approaches to positive infinity. Ang sagot natin dyan is 0. Okay? So, the limit of 2 as x approaches positive infinity, so that's 2, the limit of a constant, plus... The limit of 3 over x as x approaches positive infinity, so that is also 0. Okay? Then 5 minus 0, we have 5. Then 2 plus 0, we have 2. So therefore, the limit of 5x minus 4 
equal over 2x plus 3 is equal to 5 over 2. Okay, class? So, next, let's move to example number 2. Find the limit of x minus 2 all over x squared minus 3 as x approaches positive infinity. So, applying the same procedure, dito naman, ang x natin with the highest exponent is yung x squared. Okay? So, for factor out natin ngayon yan, so we have x squared. So, kung x squared ang pinactor out natin, yung denominator nating binomial ay magiging x squared over x squared minus 3 over x squared. Okay? Then, sa numerator naman, since x squared ang ating finactor, x squared din ang ating iba factor sa numerator. So, we have x over x squared minus 2 over x squared. Okay? Then, simplify natin yung ating fraction. So, we have the limit as x approaches positive infinity. So, dito, makakancel natin yung x squared. Okay? Then, sa numerator, we have x divided by x squared. So, we have 1 over x minus 2 over x squared. So, that is 2 over x squared. All over x squared divided by x squared, we have 1 minus 3 divided by x squared. So, we have 3 over x squared. So, next is pwede na natin i-apply yung limits. No? So, kanina, dinistribute pa natin yung limits. So, this time, uh, i-assume na lang natin na nakadistribute yung ating limits of x. Yung limits as x approaches positive infinity. So, try natin isa-isahin. So, the limit of 1 over x as x approaches to positive infinity. So, since nasa denominator yung x, so that is 0 minus... The limit of 2 over x squared as x approaches to positive infinity, that is also 0 since nasa denominator yung ating x all over. The limit of a constant, dito yung 1, so we have 1 minus the limit of 3 over x squared as x approaches to positive infinity, so we have 0. Okay? Okay? So, simplifying our fraction, we have 0 minus 0, 0. Then, 1 minus 0 is 1. So, we have 0. Okay? So, therefore, the limits of x minus 2 all over x squared minus 3 as x approaches to positive infinity is 0. Okay, class? So, let's move on to example number 3. Sa example number 3, meron naman tayo dito um, square root. No? So, check natin kung ano bang naiba dito sa example na to. So, as you notice, ang highest exponent natin sa denominator is x squared. But yun nga lang, nasa loob siya ng square root. So, therefore, kung magpa-factor tayo dito ng x squared, make sure na yung ating x squared na nasa labas is under din ng square root. Okay, so we have square root of x squared. Then, yung ating nasa may binomial, dito sa may denominator, i-divide na lang natin siya kay x squared. Ayan. Kasundan ba? Next, sa numerator naman, since yung square root of x squared is the same lang siya ni x, so, sa numerator, si x na lang ang ating ipa-factor. So, yung binomial natin is magiging 4x over x minus 3 over x. Okay? So, simplifying our fractions, so magiging the limit as x approaches positive infinity. So, unang-una, yung square root of x squared dito. Okay? So, medyo maging careful lang tayo dito, no? So, alam naman natin, ang square root of x squared, 
In algebra, pwede siyang maging positive or negative. So, since dito naman yung x natin is approaches positive infinity, so we will assume that square root of x squared is equal to positive x. Okay? So, ganun yan, no? Kung ang limit natin is approaching to negative infinity, sa mga ganun type ng problem, ang gagamitin natin is yung negative x. Okay? So, maging maingat lang tayo din, na. Okay, so next is, sa may radicand naman, 3x squared divided by x squared, we have 3 minus 2 over x squared. Sa numerator naman, we have x. Then, 4x divided by x, we have 4 minus 3 over x. So, this time, pwede na nating makancel yung x variable doon sa may labas ng ating mga parentheses. So, cancel out natin to. Then, ang ating fraction na lang is magiging 4 minus 3 over x all over square root of 3 minus 2 over x squared. Okay? Then, applying the limits. So, same procedure tayo. The limit of a constant is always the constant. Then, kung yung x naman is nasa denominator, the, the limit is, is equal to 0. Okay? So, the limit, of, the limit of 4 as x approaches to positive infinity. So, we have 4 minus 3 over x. The limit is 0 over square root of. Sa the limit of 3, we have 3 minus the limit of 2 over x squared, we have 0. Okay? So, dito we have 4 over square root of 3. Ayan. So, isi-simplify lang natin yung ating final answer. So, rationalize. Imumultiply natin the numerator and denominator by square root of 3. So, ang final answer natin is magiging 4 square root of 3 over 3. Okay? So, Diyan nagtatapos yung ating lesson guys. Kung meron kayong question, uh, feel free to write a comment below. 